Oh, what is this? A new backdrop? New backdrop. Whoa. Cool. We got half a clock. We have what looks like the We've got like stolen a, window of a church. Or like a Pope's making hat. A, making a nice crown on Hannah. Doesn't it look like the Pope? Does yes, it something like that? I don't know. We've got a window that leads to another room. Yep. This use, it doesn't matter. That's it doesn't matter. Hannah's playroom. <laughs> we are back. It is Monday. That means it's time for your favorite Squirmy and Grub segment. Yes. Monday Grub Bag. Monday Grub Bag. Where we answer your most burning questions about life, love, and our relationship. Is there an L word for... I, don't, I was going to say our relationship, but I thought you'd come up with something better. And so love. Love is funny. Life, love, and... And laughter. We need a sign behind us from Home Goods that says... Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> All, All right, right, we have some good ones. Shall we begin? Shall we begin with our title question? Our title question. What is the worst part of being disabled? And I'll say we also sometimes get what is the best part, or Shane gets what is the best part of being disabled. So I'm just gonna so I'm at her ball here. add that one. I just thought, you know, worst and best, you could do both. I like when people acknowledge that there are like good things yeah. about being disabled. Uh, the worst is by far the fact that a significant portion of our world, the people in it, believe that I do not have any inherent value, that my life is miserable, that they would rather die than live a disabled life as I do. Mm -hmm. um, ableism, generally. <laughs> uh, the belief that my life has less value than a non-disabled life. I've been living with it and experiencing it my entire life, so I'm pretty over it. Uh, but it weighs on you at times. It's kind of ironic that that people thinking that your life sucks is like the suckiest part about your life, you know? Like, <laughs> it's exhausting to read all the comments that we get about that every day. And, you know, it's, it's ironic that that is truly what makes life more annoying. It makes you want to like shake people. I know. You know, like violently <laughs> shake them and be like, watch my videos. Yeah. Look how happy I am. Nope. But I have a great life. You don't look like it. He's tiny. <laughs> he must be sad. <laughs> tiny. Hey. Right, His arms are small. He's unhappy. <laughs> uh, best hold part. On, hold on, hold on. Uh, I have to get this up here. That's the worst part. No, I think I had to go ahead. ahead. Uh, best part is um, there's a lot of perks. Like, you know, people giving me free stuff. Again, because they think my life is sad. Uh, you know, being able to cut lines anywhere I want, and everyone's like, oh, it's just in the wheelchair. Yeah. You must be able to do that. Yeah. I mean, everywhere uh, we go, if there's a line where you're supposed to line up, whoever is manning the line will literally see Shane, and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> they like play. They run to the back, they're like, right, get up here. You're yelling in first. Again, because they probably think my life is <laughs> sad, or they're trying to be helpful. This line is just going to ruin it. Him. Um, no, I, I mean, those are kind of smaller little joys, but the bigger one is like becoming a part of the vibrant disability community and like meeting so many people with disabilities that are awesome and proud of who they are. And like my journey of that acceptance has been the best part for me. It's not about the journey, it's, it's not about the destination. Oh. It's about the friends you made along the way. You messed that up. Hold on. What's your best part of being disabled? Of me being disabled? Do you want to ask me again where I'm not pulling something off your eyebrow? No, that's authentic. Okay. Um, what's my best part of you being disabled? I, it's, it, I mean, it's shaped our entire lives. Like, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Like... <laughs> I know, I am. like it's 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 just I'm <laughs> I'm so me. immersed in like <laughs> that I don't even know what I would say, you know. Yeah. It's like what's the best part about meeting me? It's like I you know it's the it's, fact I, that, it's like the fact that you can walk. <sighs> okay. And I looked up to you for oh, that. Okay. 
<laughs> Literally and figuratively. I look up to you. Okay. This is the question is this round. I know Shane had said like make it fun or whatever. People really did a great job. By the way, we get the questions from the comment section on these videos. Yes. So next week's video will come from questions in this comment section. So comment below. Yep. If you want to know something. Um what message uh, would each of you have for the class of 2022 if you were asked to give a commencement speech at your respective alma maters? Wow. I'm ready. Oh. <clears throat> to the class of 2022, thank you for having me here today oh, no. to bestow four, not three, four honorary doctorate degrees upon my chest. I'm humbled. I'm honored. I know that my accomplishments are something that you will all strive to achieve in your lifetime. Am I supposed to stop this? And I am here to tell you that it won't be easy. Many of you will fail. You will give up. Life will get too hard. Your dreams will wither and fall at your feet. But not mine. <laughs> That is why I am up here today. Thank you. Is that good? <laughs> I'm available to be hired if you... Uh, that was so horrible. That was horrible. What would yours be? You made it worse than I could ever even have imagined. I mean, I think the students would be like, this is amazing. Someone <laughs> filmed this. Yeah, <laughs> this is a freak. Um, I don't know what mine would be. I'm not good at that. I'm, I... I think that one of the things I am worst at is grand statements. Doesn't you know? mean to be grand. No, but like vague statements that are like, you know, you're out here on your own now and you're going to have to find your own way. Like that That's a good one. is the least. You are alone. That does not, <laughs> that does not come naturally to me. I don't know. I think I would, in vague terms, you know, tell people, the students graduating, that no one really ever has it figured out. Don't worry if you don't have it figured out. That was beautiful. Thank you. That was smart. But I think giving a commencement speech is my worst nightmare. <laughs> it's so true though. I, I mean, your, your faith speech is valid. Like we all grow up with this idea that people yeah. older than us have like figured it out. Eventually you'll get there. Yeah, you don't ever. Like, you know, yeah. Nope. I'm almost 30. Yeah. And I oh, don't, Jesus. And I don't have it figured out. Any chance to bring up your birthday? <laughs> Okay, what's the alarm sound y'all have to wake up in the morning? Oh, uh, the dreaded. I actually don't know. I'm it checking. Um, it's uplift. How do I play that? We have to. You just set an alarm for, or here, uplift. Yeah, here we go. It gives me a pit in my stomach. Well, see, this one doesn't right now. I change the sound as soon as I start getting a pit. I used to use the one that was like, <laughs> it's like this like high pitch thing that goes like. Dun -dun -dun. I once heard someone in a grocery store, their phone went off and I wanted to throw up. I had used it for so long. I was like, oh, that was so painful. Okay, if a toy company made an action figure of Shane and one of Hannah, what two accessories would come with each of you? Great question. Very thoughtful. That's the kind of, creativity that we value here at Monday Drip Bag. Mm -hmm. That's a fantastic question. Go ahead, Shane. I know yours, you're excited. No, I'm doing yours. Yours, yours would be a birthday cake, but like the branding wouldn't be birthday Hannah. It would just be you and you have a cake. What's my second thing? Uh, candy. A big garbage <laughs> bag full of candy slung over your shoulder. I thought that mine would be swimming related. So I thought I would be like in a swimsuit and I would maybe have like a ring float and uh, goggles a or mermaid float? mermaid tail. Like, like one a, of those tubes, tube? like an inner tube. Ah. Uh, okay. And a mermaid tail? Yeah, mermaid tail or goggles. Mermaid Princess Hannah. Yeah. Hasbro. And you would come with a wheelchair? Is Hasbro. A... Does that count as one of your accessories, the wheelchair? Or My does wheelchair just... is a part of me. I would be connected to my chair with plastic. <laughs> uh, the straps not do not removable. come off. <laughs> uh, mine would be a beer mug. Mm, beer. Very child friendly. Uh, and a weapon of some sort. A bazooka. 
I think that you would come with an assortment of sauces, a little, a flight of sauces, and maybe something to dip. Kids would be like, what the hell is this toy? <laughs> Both of ours are not, they're not normal. <laughs> um, how do you feel like your relationship has grown over time? Well, that, we're going from like silly to serious. I didn't, I didn't remember this being on the list. I yeah, think you I added this it. secretly at the no, last minute. No, I told minute. you about this one. Um, I have one. Oh, go ahead. I think earlier in our relationship, I would, I, I was more nervous about pleasing Hannah 24-7. Same. Uh, and now I'm much more comfortable <laughs> disappointing her. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I was going to say something similar that I am more comfortable. I'm like, I can be ruder to you. Like, it's honest. I, I was almost not going to say it because it's like a bad thing, but no, you yeah. said it. No, and yeah, it's true. We're, we used to be so like perfect all the time with each other. And I think you do that because you're like a little, like a small party is worried about the long term. Yeah. Like you, you want to stay in the relationship. Yeah. You're like, if I show them this part of me, they're going to leave. If I'm like, yeah. if I react in this And now way. we've both resigned ourselves to the fact Forever. that there's no way out. So <laughs> might as well just be a slob. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, obviously we still <laughs> try to be our best versions yeah. of ourselves, But <clears throat> yeah, like, and I don't like, you know, when you're not home for the day, let's say, is something blinking? Yeah, our memory card's out uh, of space. Uh, Be right back. Is it like still hurting? I think so. Oh. Not for long. Did you hit record? Yeah, we're back. That is entirely Hannah's fault. She's been taking nature photography lately. And filled up, filled up, our, up memory our memory card. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, I was saying like when you're out and about like, you know, let's say... For the day? Yeah, for the day. Like back in the day. I would have texted like every hour, like, how you doing? Yeah. You okay? Like, I don't know, you safe? Yeah. Now I'm like, J just go ahead. I don't, tell me when you're home. <laughs> and that sounds bad, yeah. but I'm more just like comfortable in yeah. our life. So. Yeah. We were so, I mean, the texting, it was compulsive. To the point where like our families got mad at us. Yeah. We yeah. had like other relationship issues. It was, it was so intense and like, I kn we knew it and we <sighs> couldn't stop. It was Obsessive. I was like, I know, I know that we're out to dinner, but I have to text. Yeah, her. I have to. It was horrible. And they're like, you just did five minutes. Yeah, but she responded. Yeah. So I have to respond. It was. <laughs> so yeah, we relaxed a little bit. I would say. Yeah, that's the big. We relaxed. We relaxed. We relaxed in all areas of life together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the last one. This is a good one. Navigating a multi-generation household can be tricky and wonderful. How did you decide to do this, and what advice can you give for others? Well, first, it's more on the advice, because we made a video about like, why we did it. Yeah. Real briefly, the headline is that it was mutually beneficial and desirable yeah. for us and for our parents. Yeah. So we did it. Yeah, there for are, a variety of reasons. They're our best friends. We love them to death. Yeah. Uh, and it just works well for our family. Yep. Advice. Advice. About how to make it work. Well, it's officially been over a year that we've been uh, living with them. Yeah, it has. I think our biggest problem area, which is where we can get our advice from, is around food and meals. Yeah. Which shouldn't surprise you. I know. We, yeah, we have now, we have separate areas for our foods to be kept, different sides of the fridge. Because there were too many times when one of us would go to get an item that yeah. we knew was in the fridge. That we desired. And then someone else had eaten it. <laughs> yep. And so uh, now we literally will like, if Shane and I are done with like leftovers from this restaurant, we will put them on the other side of the fridge and then my dad knows that he can eat it. There's a designated <laughs> George area of food that he's allowed to have. Yes, and he just goes there and takes from it. So it works well. But, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, I think it's the most surprising thing in the past year is how little we actually eat together. Yeah. Like when we moved in, we thought that we would be having dinner together every night. Uh -huh. Like how we had when I grew up. And we thought we'd have to like carve out yes. relationship, like dinner time. We were worried about that, that we, we were, wouldn't have alone meal time. We were like, should we tell them that we want to eat alone like yeah. a night a week or something? Yep. That has never really been an issue. Nope. They eat, uh, Hannah's parents eat together 
we eat together usually at different times. Yeah. Here and there, we'll have a meal together when we're all like. Yeah, and we'll be like, "This is nice. We should do this more often." Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't happen more often, but. And then the other thing, the thing about meals is, we split all of our expenses here, um, and that can be weird when like we want to buy a lot of snacks, but maybe her parents don't. Yeah. You know, like how, is it fair to split that? So we arranged an agreement where her parents cover groceries and we cover takeout and going out to dinner. Yeah. And like we thought that would be fair, but like some months it's really uneven. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't really have advice there. Yeah. Um, but we're working on that. Area. Figuring out that yeah. system. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, overall, it's hard to give advice. We just happen to find the perfect house for this, the perfect situation with separate areas, and it just, you know, worked and like, perfectly. Yeah, and, and personalities also. Oh, yeah, that is super You know, helpful. it's hard if, if you don't want to live with that person. <laughs> but I think one thing that we do really well is whenever there is a big decision to be made, usually with a monetary aspect to it, yeah. we have a conversation with all four of us, like no one person ever just decides, I'm gonna repaint the living room and then lets everyone else yeah. know. Like we talk about it and agree together. Yeah, even if it's just buying like a small piece of furniture for True. a public area, we like discuss things because we're splitting them and that has worked really well. Yeah, so that's our advice. Yeah, it was kind of vague. <laughs> Well, all advice is vague. I know. As you said about the Try your <laughs> best. Commemoration. Yeah. Um, so that is Monday Your Bag, episode three. Yeah, three weeks in a row. Three We're almost guys. a month in. Let's pat ourselves on the back. Yep. Like, can you do it? Goodbye, everyone.